welcome to the debut episode of The Allison Paul Show. Our Opposite Worlds came together a little bit less than a year ago, and I was really interested in doing something with Allison. Aside from what I do every weekend, 250 shows a year, this was a really great idea for her and I to come together and do something controversial. Like I said, different topics, different people, you know, common everyday people. Do you agree with me on that? I do. I think that we're two people who have a lot to say about a lot of topics. So, you know, we're going to bring our viewers everything from fashion, from me, music, from you. And collectively, we have a lot to say on culture and lifestyle, business, politics. Absolutely. Definitely your area. And we're going to have a lot of guests on the show. We're going to be interviewing a lot of guests, a lot of different people, a lot of different uh, characters and personalities. I'm not really sure if a lot of the people that come on the show are going to be able to get a few words in because I'm so damn opinionated. <laughs> we are lucky enough to call Ronnie Kroll a friend. And Ronnie, most people know him from the first season of Bravo Television's Make Me a Supermodel. And not only is Ronnie this beautiful man who has a skyrocketing model modeling career, but he is also an activist. He's a huge gay rights proponent. He uh, has started a nonprofit organization. He wants to change the world. And I think for Paul, most importantly, Ronnie wants to be president. All right, I think we have to address the elephant in the room here and talk about the fact that Ronnie was the June 2010 cover girl, cover model, for, <laughs> cover model for Playgirl magazine. So you get me all flustered. Right? <laughs> so, you know, let's talk, actually, just let's dive in and talk about it. Who, it's been who a would couple have, of years. Who have thought about it? It's been a couple of years since you were on my YouTube. Definitely. It has been a couple of years since Supermodel, and if you would have asked me, I don't think I would have ever told you guys that being the cover guy for Playgirl would have been on my short list of things to do. Uh, but it certainly was an incredible adventure, and I had a lot of fun doing it, and I have no regrets whatsoever about doing it. What was your... I mean, you know, obviously there are many motivations behind being on the cover of a magazine, but Playgirl's a pretty big statement. So, I mean, I know you know you as well as I do. There have to be other motivations. Uh, you always have some sort of point to make and something to say, so. You know, certainly at the end of the day, there was a lot of motivation, um, but really, I just wanted to have the experience. I wanted to be liberated. And, you know, I a lot of times, as we all do, especially when we're giving in nature, um, we kind of live for everybody else, and we're people pleasers, and we want to make sure everybody's happy, and we kind of forget about ourselves and what, what we want to experience in life. And for me, it was a liberating experience. It was an honor that Playgirl magazine would, you know, call on an openly gay man, or a man that happens to be gay, as I like to say, um, to grace the cover of a women's entertainment magazine, you know? and. I was joining the likes of like Burt Reynolds and Arnold Schwarzenegger and you name it, you know, people that have done it before me. Um, but mainly I was making a statement as an artist. I wanted to challenge um, the American perspective on nudity and how we've kind of demonized nudity and we kind of look at it as dirty to be sexual with each other, to, to have that sexual chemistry. And I wanted to say, um, you know, the human body is beautiful and we should appreciate it, we should value it, and we shouldn't look at it as something ugly. There's an old saying that says, uh, failure is a bastard child, but success has many fathers. And, you know, when the going gets tough, you know, not to be too cliche, but it's so true, it's like when the going gets tough, there's not a lot of people that are willing to be on board with you during those hard times. Absolutely. But the moment that success <laughs> is eminent, <laughs> Like you guys have experienced the moment that success is eminent, everyone else comes around and, and, and is your best friend and wants to be part of it. And for me, that's happened and it's very challenging because it hurts, you know, that people would then show up and think that they're your best friend and they want to be a part of it. And I, I say, you don't get to come to the party if you didn't help put the party on, you know. You I love all the analogies. I like the analogy. Yeah, well, yeah, I know. My, yeah. The way I do it is if the checkbook's negative and then it's positive. <laughs> There's nobody there when it's negative, but when it's positive, everybody's like, everybody's how there. are you? Yeah, you know, like, call, call me old fashioned, but I believe in the power of a handshake and, and, and your word. And Seriously, I'm sitting in between like two halves of the same person suddenly. But no, it's, and this is why I was excited to interview this gentleman. When I was two, I watched Ronald Reagan give a speech. Um, and whether you agreed with his politics or not. Um, I don't hate you for that. I, I, I'm a Ronald oh, Reagan supporter. Yeah. Okay. We, we like, I amazing. never know yeah. if I'm amongst uh, yeah. you know, Reaganites or not or whatever. And, Reaganite and, here. And it was never about his <laughs> politics, but there was something about his 
charisma, something about the way he communicated with people, and he communicated with people all across the spectrum, you know, old, young, you know, rich, poor, he was able to just really find something. He brought the, the common denominator together when he spoke, and I think that was such an incredible thing at, that at two years old I went up to the television and I touched it when he was giving his speech. Aww. Amazing Running Call once again, I'm Paul Zalison. we'll see you next time on the Allison Paul Show. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed the interview with Ronnie Kroll as much as we did. I was excited to interview Ronnie. How about it you? was fun. It was fun. Ronnie's an yeah. awesome guy. Yeah, he really is. I mean, really a great kickoff to our show. I want to thank everybody. Uh, we we'll want to see you next week on the Allison Paul Show. Right here at allison-paul.com. Facebook and Twitter. Send us all your comments, all your responses. And we'll get back to you. See you next week. Bye.